Okay. So I will present without a slide, but I think you will still, I hope you will understand. Uh, I'm Catherine Menard, and I'm from France, and I will present you one of my internship projects. Uh, so I have a bachelor in biology. So it's about the characterization of seven different phages that in infect the streptomyces bacteria. So have you ever been sick, like really sick? Like you feel like your body won't get over the infection by itself. In that case, you might use a little help, right? So you will take medicine, antibiotics. But have you ever wondered, where do these antibiotics come from? Well, actually, they come from, they, they are made of compounds produced by bacteria that can be found right under our feet in the soil. And when people discovered that after the Second World War, it was amazing because then plants, animals, and people didn't have to die from infection. They could actually recover from it. But over time, some living organisms became resistant to those antibiotics. And antibiotics resistance is actually considered by the World Health Organization as one of the major challenges of the 21st century. So we need to find a new way to hijack ident um, antibiotics resistance. And we need to find new superheroes that can help us fight the bacteria. So one of the potential superheroes is the phage. We can't see the image here, but the phage is a microorganism that can infect the bacteria. And what it, what it does is that it puts its DNA inside the bacteria, it replicates itself several times, and then it can break the bacteria cell open. And then the newly replicated phages will go and attack other bacteria. So this is a great cure, right? But the thing is, to cure people, we need to know specifically which phage can infect which bacteria. And this was kind of the goal of our research in my internship. So we wanted to build a library of phages versus bacteria in order to be able to know which phage infect which bacteria. So first, our first question was where to collect the phages. And the phages logically can be fi found in the soil because some populations of phages are associated with populations of bacteria in the soil. So that's what we did. We collected 12 soil samples that we took back to the lab. And then we had first to filtrate the phages. And that was easy because the phages are way smaller than the bacteria. So we isolated them and then we had to test them against different bacteria. And in the biology plate, uh, like if you see a plate uh, of biology, we put medium in it and then we mix it with the bacteria. And the phage, what it does on the plate, when we deposit the phage on the plate, if it infects the bacteria, it, it makes the bacteria disappear. So we can see clearly a transparent dot on the plate. I don't know if, if you can visualize it. But this visual assessment is, is really clear to see. And so if the phage infects the bacteria, it makes a transparent dot. So through this visual assessment, we could identify seven different phages that had different range of infections that could infect different bacteria. And our idea after was to scale up the protocol and take samples from all over the world and to test the phages against a huge diversity of strains of bacteria in order to uh, build the bigger library and this way fight antibiotics resistance. Thank you. <laughs>